it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. I hope everybody is doing well today. The sun is shining. The sky is slightly overcast, but it's supposed to get up into the 80s. It is warming up. <laughs> so, but it's still only September, so, you know, you're going to have that. Okay. This is day number seven for cheap meals. And I want to show you what I've got here. This is from my freezer. It is uh, lentil and rice burritos, or you could say enchiladas, either or. Um, I made them in June. So, I feel like I want to start using them and um, make a meal out of them. And it should be a cheap meal, speaking of which. Now, I don't have very much experience with lentils. These lentil um, burritos, they have cheese in them and they've got rice. And of course they have the lentils and the seasoning in them is of course a Mexican seasoning. So <clears throat> I, I've never had lentil burritos or lentil enchiladas but you know what I thought I would try it and I, I had canned lentils because it was a package given to me and I thought well I'll can them and see how they are and um, also, I had, if I recall, I had some leftover rice, and so I thought, well, let's combine them and let's make something for the freezer so we could have, I could have some freezer meals. <clears throat> now then, and these are just rolled in flour tortillas that I happen to have. So, I don't have any enchilada sauce, but I thought, well, um, I do have some things that um, are a Mexican nature kind of flavors. So I thought, well, okay, let's try this. So I've got a can of tomato sauce, it's in, and it weighs, says it weighs eight ounces. So this come from Aldi. These used to be 30, about 30, under 40 cents, but now they're more than that, I think. Um, I've got some taco sauce from Dollar Tree. This is very good, by the way. I've got some salsa that my older daughter made. In nope, that's some that I made. Sorry, <laughs> in 2022, I am working my way through these things. I've got one pack of Velveeta cheese sauce from Dollar General. This is a dollar. And I've got some uh, cumin and chili powder. And I've got some garlic powder and onion powder. How do you pronounce this? Do you say cumin or cumin? I don't know. Potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> so. I'm going to make up an enchilada sauce the best I can, and um, oh, and pardon me, I've got some Colby Jack cheese from the Quick Star, uh, which was on sale, so I'm going to use that. It slices, I'm not going to shred it, I'll just lay it on the, which will, these uh, enchiladas. Okay, so let's get this uh, sauce mixed up and see how we do. Okay, I've got my tomato sauce poured in the bowl. Um, I'm going to pour some of this taco sauce in the tomato sauce. So we will see. I'm going to grab a measuring spoon real quick. Thank you. 
my little dog needed to go out, so she may bark to be let in, and I will have to pause to get her. <laughs> All right, let's put in, this is a quarter teaspoon measure, let's put in a half a teaspoon of cumin. Half a teaspoon of garlic. I'm just guessing because I don't know. I know what enchilada sauce tastes like, and I kind of have an idea of, you know, what the base of it is, but honestly, I don't, I've never really made it. So, we shall see. Oh, I hear her barking. Hold on, I'll go get her. She's a funny little dog. She does not bark when she wants to let out. She barks when she wants back in. And um, she just kind of, and she doesn't go to the door when she wants to let out. She just kind of hangs around and stares at me. So it's like mental telepathy. how she tells me that she wants, what she wants, when she wants it. I don't know. This smells good. Got some, some little lumps in there, so I think I'm going to get my, my little whisk here and see if I can't break those up. <clears throat> Look, I'm going to taste this. Well, it's pretty good, but I think I'm going to put some more cumin in there, and I think I'm going to put some more chili powder. But it does taste good. And I think because there's not much taco, much of this taco sauce left, I'm going to just pour the rest of this in there. Let's see. This taco <clears throat> sauce has the tomato puree. Of course, it's got the usual corn syrup, etc. Vinegar. It's got uh, ancho chili peppers, jalapenos, um, chipotle peppers, paprika, and uh, spices, etc. It says it's got oil in it. So maybe I should put a little paprika in there as well. This is just regular paprika. <clears throat> from Aldi. Um, you know, when you when you're trying to do things like this, don't be afraid to kind of jump in there and just figure it out. You can. You can figure it out. Well, that's, that's pretty nice. That's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. So, so far so good. <laughs> now, I'm, I've heated the up, preheated the oven to 400 degrees. So, oh, and I did forget to grab one thing. A 
forgot to grab some jalapenos. Now my daughter did can these. She gave these to me, so. <laughs> so confusing. Okay. So I'm gonna spoon some of this in the bottom of the of the pan. And you know what? I think I think I am going to put a little bit of oil in this. Oh, it can't hurt anything. You know, fat does make food taste good. Fat, salt, seasonings makes food taste good. Okay. All right. Got that in the bottom of the baking dish. Now then. Because it's just moi, I'm going to lay in four <coughs> burritos, enchiladas, what would you call them? I don't know. I'm going to put them seam side down. Let's put four in here. So that would be like two meals. What do you think? Lentil rice and cheese tacos. I know sometimes um, they do use lentils for a meat substitute. I do know that. All right, I'm gonna pop these in the freezer. Just so we can have them another time. All right, now then, what next? Oh, okay, let's put some more of my enchilada sauce on the, what hopefully will become enchiladas. This would, could be a, 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 a vegetarian recipe, not a vegan because there's cheese in it, but could be. I mean, if you wanted something vegetarian, why not? I am, um, I'll use the salsa. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. I might just wait until they're done and then put it on top of my serving. So, Got these jalapenos here. So basically, these are in strips, so I'm just going to take a few of them and I'll just cut them. These are very good. I'm going to sprinkle them on top of here. Remember, I'm flying blind. <laughs> I'm just, you know. Sometimes that's the way cheap meals are. Actually, most of the time, that's the way cheap meals are. They are like that. They are improvisational. That is fine. I think that's all right. Now, let's cut this open. I'm going to try to do this in such a way that You know, at some point, you just have to say, well, it is what it is. It looks like what it is. That's just how it is. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? But either way, the ingredients should be good. Should be okay. I'm just 
just going to roll this down. But I am going to use some of that other cheese on the top, so it's all right. I'm not going to spread this because it's already soft and the, the heat from the oven will spread it. I'm sure of that, so, well, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. I don't know. What do you think? Normally, I would eat this on, you know, on a bed of shredded iceberg lettuce. That would be good, but I don't have any lettuce. I have no lettuce. Nada. Zero zilch. But that's okay. That's fine. So. I think I'll just do it. I don't know what. Two or three pieces, maybe? <clears throat> what do you think? This is a build as you go. <laughs> or as built. It's as built. <laughs> as the construction trade would say. As built. I suppose I could have been neater about this, but that's all right. I'm going to uh, put some more enchilada sauce on top of this cheese because we don't want them to be dry and as far as baking time I don't know I think I'm going to put them in for uh, because they're still frozen I think I'm going to put them in for what 400 degrees for about 25 minutes I'll try that See what that looks like. So in actuality, this is a, actually a pretty cheap dish, especially cheap per serving. Do you agree? You can put in the comments, let me know what you think. I could just be bumbling this, you know. You never know. <laughs> I could be bubbling it all up. Come on now, zip, zip bag, zip close for me. Okay. So that's the extent of it. I'm going to put this in the oven, 400 degrees. For I think the camera went off for a second. These are going in the oven 400 degrees for 25 minutes to start, and then we will see what we get. Whew! Okay. Uh, the timer went off at 25 minutes, and um, so there they are. I'm going to let them sit for a few minutes before I try taking them out, and I'll take a couple out and put it on my plate, and we'll see what we get. I don't know, what do you think? It looks good. I guess we'll see. Okay, let's see what we've got here. <laughs> um, I don't know which end to start on. I guess, I guess I'll do it like this. this. 
All right. I don't know. What do you think? It's not really beautiful, is it? But let's cut into one and see what we have. They are soft, but then enchiladas are pretty soft. Let's look and see what this is. That looks uh, pretty good. It actually looks kind of meaty, doesn't it? These are very, very hot. <laughs> All right, let me cut it a little smaller so I don't burn myself. <clears throat> they smell good. The cheese is melty. Well, it's pretty tasty. It's zippy. Um, from the jalapenos. It's a little bit zippy. But it's really good. So I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? They do taste good. They taste really delicious. And I can't really tell that it has lentils in it. It just, um, it just tastes meaty. I'm going to get a picture of this real quick. Um, it just tastes meaty. It tastes meaty, cheesy. Um, the rice just sort of melted in. It tastes very nice. I would love to have a little bit of cold iceberg lettuce. That would be really good. But let's put a little bit of salsa. Just for the fun of it. This salsa is a little bit dippy as well. Dippy. <laughs> Zippy. <laughs> it's it's dippy. <laughs> You're probably thinking I'm dippy. Okay, this opened up a little bit. Now you can kind of see. And I forgot that I did put jalapenos in the filling as well. Now we can see the rice. Um you can just make these out of rice. You really don't need lentils. I mean, I've made a rice burrito before, and like with refried beans, it's really good. So, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm hmm. Well, I'm telling you, I like it. It's really good. I think you can add anything you want to this, like um, some lettuce, some sour cream, any of the accoutrements that you would have for tacos or enchiladas or whatever, would be really tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is really good. Very good. Even with the enchilada sauce, that should be called, I don't know what I'm doing enchilada sauce because I don't. <laughs> so, 
that's it. Um, and you know what? I'm going to call it a day. It's Saturday. I'm going to call it a day on my seventh, uh, on day seven cheat meals. Because if I want more later for my supper, I can just have this. Um, but honestly, I think this is good. It worked out good. I got to bake uh, four of the burrito slash enchiladas, lentil, rice, and cheese. And honestly, they're really good. Uh, I think it's a good idea. If you don't have meat, <clears throat> then try this. You won't miss it. You won't miss the beef or chicken or whatever. Um, it's very tasty. And if you make these less spicy, kids would really like these because they're nice and soft. And You know, there's nothing wrong with mushy food. Mushy food is good food. <laughs> well, it is. Mushy food is good food. <laughs> All right. That's it for me today. Uh, cheap meals, day seven. I think this was really good. It's very cheap, and it looks delicious, and it would go a long way, too. Okay, listen, I love you guys. You know I do. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, day eight will be coming up, and then that will be the end of the um, cheap meals series, although most everything I do is cheap. But, <laughs> okay, frugal. It's frugal. <laughs> but, um... I had 16 um, meal, uh, I had, had written down 16 meal suggestions, being able to use what I have, that would be two meals, and which would give me two meals a day, so honestly, I figured eight days worth would be really nice, so got one more day, but that's it, alright, listen, as always, you do know that little is much when God is in it, okay, I love you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay? Love ya. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.